Um, one thing about vaccination, um, at least I can speak here in North Carolina, but I think it's this way across the country, is that we've hit a little bit of a wall because a lot of the people who really, really wanted the vaccine have now gotten it. So now it's the people who are um, either worried and thus hesitant about whether the, the vaccine is, is worth it for them and their benefit to risk ratio analysis. Um, and then there are some people who are just apathetic. Eh, COVID vaccine, eh. Um, and then there are some people who are just procrastinators. Um, and those of you who are procrastinators know who you are. So let's go ahead and get vaccinated now um, and we can get out of this a lot quicker. You want these restrictions by the, to be lifted by the governor, restrict faster? You want the mask restriction to go away? Let's just get vaccinated. Um, and we particularly, I'm, I'm talking about the younger people where there may be more apathy and procrastination. Um, and so uh, it's a good time to get vaccinated. Uh, and it's easy, the appointments, uh, we have appointment slots open all the time, so it's not as hard as it was at all. So uh, get a hold of the uh, um, Public Health Department's website, or you can call for here in our uh, health system, you can call 336-70-COVID, make your vaccine appointment, and there are open appointments. You can also go through your My, My Wake Health address uh, account. And um, um, so there's, there's vaccine events happening all over the place. Uh, look at your community calendars, social websites and such, and let's get vaccinated. Um, you know, if you're 16 or over, you can get vaccinated. And this is their ticket for having a normal season next year for our school, for our high schools. If we can get, you know, a good number, 70 to 80% of our high school students vaccinated by next fall, you're gonna have football, you're gonna have wrestling, you're gonna have every sport you want, you're gonna have social activities, you're gonna have proms, and you won't have people bugging you all the time about staying apart. Um, and this is how we're gonna have a normal school season next year. Same thing for universities. There is virtually no way that we are going to have a normal school year for a residence hall oriented university or college without having a majority of the students vaccinated. You just won't be able to do it because in the dorms, the parties, um, the social get togethers and just how high school, uh, I mean how college kids interact, there's no way you've seen over the last uh, year, um, you know, just about every college who's had in-person people, doesn't even have to be in-person classes, but just people on the campus has had a problem with an outbreak, some large, some small. The only way we're going to have a normal year for a university or college is to be vaccinated. And this is why you're hearing more and more and more universities that are going to be mandating vaccines for their returning students this fall, um, including Wake Forest. Now, Wake Forest has done a great job actually getting their students vaccinated, and it's made a difference down there um, since February. Um, COVID's been a pretty rare event on campus, so it works. So if you're a college student and you wanna have a normal college year, including your frat parties, a normal rush, um, normal social, social interactions, having the lounges open in the dorms, just get vaccinated. Um, and that's why the colleges are asking to do it mandatory. And I uh, support that 100%. So I support Wake Forest's decision to have mandatory vaccination for the fall 100%. I think it's a great idea.